some great some some parts of the draft class that I really really like. I think when you look at the third round pick specifically for me, I love Benjamin St. Juice. I liked him out of the Senior Bowl. Uh, I love his length. I love his athleticism. I love his quick feet. I think they desperately needed another corner to go along with Kendall Fuller uh, and to go along with William Jackson the third because I'm not sure what else they really have other than a you know I mean, Jimmy Moreland obviously is part of that you know but but is Jimmy better in the slot is Jimmy better on the outside I mean I don't know if we still know the answer to that and is he a long term starter I, you know probably not I, I don't know so to me St Juice. And his and I talked to Ron Rivera on Monday on my radio show, and I brought up the name Richard Sherman. And I said, you know, what about Cam Chancellor? And, you know, we all kind of get this vision in our head of a guy that looks like another guy. Right. Or fits a prototype. And, you know, I, I was expecting Ron to basically shoot that down. And he's like, no, he's like, you know, I. I see not only Richard Sherman, he's like, but I also see James Bradbury. I also see Josh Norman in terms of some of the traits that he's got, some of the length, some of the physicality, some of the feistiness, um, you know, uh, the ability in some cases, like specifically Bradbury to stick on somebody's hip. Um, so to me, like, I really, really like that pick. That's my favorite pick probably of the draft. And Diami Brown, you know, I, I wasn't like as, as oh, my gosh, they've got to get that kid uh, a, as I was a guy like St. Juice. But, you know, you look, I forget the number. I mean, I, I think he had like the most 50 plus yard, you know, passing plays last year in the country. I, um, I think that's the number. I could be wrong on, on that, but something like that. And you look at that offense and how productive it was at North Carolina. And when people start saying, well, hey, he could be as a receiver what Terry McLaurin is and the type of receiver Terry McLaurin is, good route runner, uh, uh, able to catch contested balls, uh, all, you know, a deep threat but not afraid to go over the middle, that type of thing. To me, if you can get some of that, all of that, mo most of that, you know, then Washington hit a, a grand slam in the third round. And, and then we could talk about the other rounds. I mean, you know, everything is subject to obviously staying healthy uh, and, and these guys delivering on their goods. Like, I'm not sure Cosme's going to be a stud, but I like him better at 51 than I liked him at 19. Uh, Jamin Davis, I really hope and I believe and I think that he can be a stud, but I don't know if I. I've, if I feel that like 100% of my bones right now, I, I have to almost see it before I absolutely believe it. But I'm, I'm a lot closer than I was last week at this time on Jamin Davis. I can tell you that.